Hello and welcome back to River City Saga, Three Kingdoms, otherwise known as Romance of the Three Kingdoms, the Kudio Dramedy, otherwise known as How to Break the Three Kingdoms in Half in a Matter of Parts. Welcome to the final chapter of this Let's Play, known as the Battle of the Burning Red Cliffs, otherwise commonly known in Dynasty Warriors as the Battle of Hefei. Let's get started. Dun, dun, dun. After fleeing the Salsa army as it washes all over. Oh, oh, let me read that again. After fleeing the Salsa army as it washes all over of Jingxiu, our heroes arrive in Yangzhou with the civilians in tow. The genius tactician Zhu Liang heads to Sun Quan's split base in Chaisong alone to persuade him to join their side. The Emotional Sixth Chapter Battle of the Burning Red Cliffs begins! Dun, 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 dun. I'm not asking for your help. I'm telling you that will help you. Cao Cao isn't only after us. He's trying to take over the whole nation. He could be invading Yangzhou tomorrow. Miss Sigelio, I really get the feeling you're looking down on us. I'm playing a part I lose to his mommy. If you don't remember her, she's um, from River City Ransom. I do believe she was dubbed as um, Cindy. I'm not entirely certain. She might be. She, she might have been dubbed as um, Roxy or Cindy or one of those. We fought with the South Army more than once, so we know what they're capable of. I think your only choice is to work with us to fight against them. The Tao Sao troops come in great numbers, but their fatigue after a long series of battles. If numbers are enough to send you running, you should be tired. What was that? Aren't you the ones who ran from Zhuxia to Jinjo while they were chasing you? Yes, we've made it out alive several times. That's the ultimate proof that we're capable of standing up to them. Okay, then why don't you fight them on your own? I heard they have a million soldiers, you think you can win? And playing the role of Sun Xuan is Ricky. Stop. There's no point in fighting with Zhu Ge Liang here. Oh, it's Sun Xuan! I also fear that Xiao Xiao is after Zheng Zhou. We should fight him! Should we borrow their knowledge and power? What do you think, Zhou? I am playing the role of Zhou Yu! Kill Kill! You're being manipulated by her! All of you! The obvious choice is to defeat Liu Bei and hand him over to Xiao Xiao. Who would you rather fight? Liu Bei or Sao Sao? The River City Girls, ladies and gentlemen, on opposite sides. I'm telling you, Sao Sao isn't only after Liu Bei. He's got his eyes on Yang Zhou too. What will happen to Sun Xuan with Yang Zhou under Sao Sao's rule? Sunshine would never lose his Tao Sao! Oh? Uh, so you say he will lose? Why don't you fight him then? But, 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 you, you, you see, it's just a matter of which battle is easier. 
In that case, your army is capable of defeating Sao Sao. Should definitely join forces with the Liu Bei army. We are determined not to lose this time. We promise not to mess with Zhang Zhou. But what about Sao Sao? Look at what happened with Zhu Shou and Jing Zhou. Remember the other groups he's taken out? Your intelligent general, Zhou Yu. I'm certain you know what choice would be the best for the people of Zhang Zhou. Fine, fine. So Chuan, let's fight Sao Sao with him. Yes, I don't intend to let Sao Sao defeat us. Actually, I want to face him for myself. Zhu Ge Liang, we will join force with you to defeat the Sao Sao army. Please inform Liu Bei. Lord Sun Xuan, you mustn't fall for her tricks. Silence! This is my decision. If you're scared, you can see yourself out. Yeah, I expected nothing less of you, Sun Xuan. All right then, I'll write a message to my comrades. If you're wondering why I'm calling him Shu Sh Sun Xuan, it's because the later version of Dynasty Warriors dubbed him as that. It was no longer Sun Quan, like Cao Cao. Liu Bei, Zhang Fei, Guan Yu, they're all, they're all the same. Except for, you know, like the members of the Sun family, they all, they all had to be properly Pronounced right, like Sao Sao was, you know, earlier was Cow Cow, but it's really Sao Sao. No, let's go. There's another desk destroyed by Lung Sun Xuan's fist. Um. Miss Yuge Leong isn't a bad person at heart. I hope you can all get along with her. They call her a genius. Maybe she's a genius at pissing me off. I can't forgive her for talking to Sun Xuan like that. Things will work out. The message from Zuge Leong reaches Guan Yu and Xin Chou. Everyone, a message from Zhuge Liang has arrived! Are things looking good with Sun Chuen? Yeah! Sounds like Su Sir Sun Chuen will fight with us. Awesome! I expected nothing less! With Sun Chuen on the battlefield too, there's gonna be a big fight. Yeah, fight big enough to go down in history. With us as the winners! Yeah, let's head to Chai Song, where she's waiting. We should be able to meet with Sir Swin at the gate. I'm getting fired up! I wonder what kind of guy this Sir Swin is. So we're here at Easel.
I mean, it's good to get that, you know, extra level on the go. Against violence, yet I'm passing a fist. And I make sure the word gets around, you know? Because, you know what? I'm a nice guy. I believe in peace through violence. That's what it means to be a pacifist. Everyone will get along after they get their ass beat. Overheat! The overhead kick. Down on enemies over the head. Oh, Captain Subasa! Oh, yes. Captain Subasa on the way. The ball is your friend, bitches. The ball is constantly your friend.
Sam Poo would have his own. Level up! Tigers, really. The ball is indeed my forty. Now I'm kind of wondering, had Captains of Boss have been, um, had Technos had the rights to Captains of Boss at home, it would have been stupidly gorgeous out there. and chase some. Missile dropkick. Well, I see what happened. Welcome! So you're the Malatara brothers I've heard so much about. I'm Sun Schwen. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet my stay. I'm glad to make your acquaintance, sir, Sun Schwen. Thank you for accepting our offer. Of cooperation. Let us work together to take down Cao Cao. 
Now that the introductions are out of the way, shall we get to discussing our strategy? Does anyone have any ideas for what might work on Sasa? Anything from General Zhou maybe? Why me? If you have an idea, I'll whip it! I suppose I could, but I was hoping to spotlight the number one general of the Sun Xuan army. If you don't have anything, I guess I can go. Of course I have something! I predict that the Salsa army has a weak navy. I have an effective strategy in mind to exploit that. Uh, Alright, let's all go at three days! That sounds fun. There might be a spy listening in, so let's write it down and then reveal it to each other. Right, that's a good idea. In that case, let's write the strategy on our on our palms and show them. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. So am I. One, two, three. Fire setting. <laughs> So we had the same idea. Not that I expect as much. However, there is one major problem we need to address for this plan. Yes, the wind. I can handle that, so leave it to me. You can handle the wind. I want to see that for myself. Hey, what do you mean, fire setting? D didn't you say... Sazel's army's weakness is their navy? Like, as in bells on the water? The Sazel army came from the north. They aren't using to man ships nor to the southern weather. They aren't they're you they aren't used to manning ships nor to the southern weather. They'll be weak to motion sickness and fall ill easy. I feel more energized during warm weather myself. And our plan is to set fire to the ships they're on. So we'll make up for the difference in fire. So we'll make up for the difference in numbers for fire. Wow, I knew you were getting the young was good, but Joe Use is quite something else too. Maybe there's still a problem with this plan? Oh, when? Like you mentioned before, let me know if there's anything I can do. I have a whole lot to do before the final battle. I'll give command, so give me your cooperation in return. If you have a free moment, come see me. You got it! <laughs> so, it's finally time to face off against Sao Sao. It's been so long, or maybe not long enough. Hey, Leo Bay. We don't have time to reminisce. We need to work to increase our chance of victory. You're right. I'll think of anything I can do to Oh, that's right. Se Sun Xuan said to report to the troops in Nukol. When you're ready for the final battle. Understood! Now, whose work should I help out? Hey, there anything I can help with? Help you with? Oh, mm. I know. Do you know the best weapon for fighting between two ships at a distance? Cannonballs. You mean a bow? Exactly. But you need arrows to attack with a bow. I was just playing on stocking up some arrows. Could you get some for me? Arrows, you got it. How many should I get? Okay then. Could you ready? One hundred thousand. In three days. If you can't manage it on your own, why don't you ask the genius on your team? She gave the young, huh? Well, even she might have trouble getting one of the If you can't manage it, both you and she gave the young will face a penalty. That's not! Hey, 
Sun Chuan, can I help with anything? Hey, Guan Yu, nice timing. I was just looking for someone to ask for. Everyone knows that the South South Army's weaknesses are in their name, right? I think that he must be doing some to cover for that, too. It's really good. Yeah, that's true. South South wouldn't leave his weakness on the rest. Right, so would you go secretly check out what the South South Army's up to? I can't say that's my special. I don't do stuff. I'm not asking to really do anything to them. Just watch from afar. Pull that off, right? There's South South troops around in Jiaku. So you might be able to see their naval training. I'm counting on you, Guan Yu. Okay. Alright, I'll go check it out. Okay, Leong, help me. Eh, what is it? I'm busy making preparations for the battle. I asked Sho Yu what I could do to help, and she told me to get 100,000 arrows in three days. Mm, sounds like her. And we face a problem if we can't. And what does it have to do with me? I mean, I could do it though, so it doesn't matter. Really? You could get 100,000 arrows? <laughs> Nothing's impossible with my intellect. So first of all, get me 20 straw materials. So 20 straw materials should take, but how's that going to turn into 100,000 arrows? Let's wait and see. Go on high and bring them to me. Oh, I got them. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Here they are. Alright, thanks. Next, meet up with me at the pier in New Cole. I'll show you there how I'll turn that straw into 100,000 arrows. Really? You, you got to you magic or something? <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out for yourself. I don't get it, but okay, I'll trust her. She go to Luko. is from our team, or Sun Chuen's troops. I feel like I've seen him before. Who is he? Ah, the general who was next to Liu Biao's son! The one I know like. If he's in Jia Ko, does that mean he joined Cao Cao's army? Now that I think, I heard he specialized in naval battle. I should report to Sun Chuen. I saw a general from Jingzhou named Sai Mao in Jiaqiu. Specialized in naval battle, I think. Thanks for the detective work, as I thought. I knew he wouldn't leave his weakness as is. So he brought someone in to cover for it. We got some intel on Cao Cao's army. It's not really what we wanted here, huh? No, we would have let our guard down if we expected the Navy to be weak. We should go into the final battle knowing that naval battle isn't his weakness. That's a soon when I know. But maybe aside from me thinking that we could also use this knowledge in battle. 
Whoa! You were listening, show you? What do you mean using the battle? Um, she's right there, dude. That spread word among the Salsa army that Sai Mao is a spy with secret connections to Ryu Bay. If we do so, Sao Sao will err on the side of caution and no longer have time to faith in Sai Mao. That's not a bad thought! Seems worth giving it a try. Okay then. I'll go write a letter about Liu Bei and Sai Mao working together. Hold on a moment. Five minutes later. All done. I'm such a good talent. Go leave this lair somewhere South South's troops should find it. Alright! That's just so tricky. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm looking forward to how it turned out. Just you wait, Sai Mao. This is your comeuppance for how you treated us in Jing Shou. South South's troops will come by here again. I leave it where I saw Sai Mauer. It's like no one's around. Alright. Okay, that does it for a letter. Okay, time to head back. Huh? Oh, I didn't take that. I'm sick of all this naval training. Sai Mao's a tough one. Win even without training, no problem! They're telling me, we got tenfold of military strength after all. Uh huh? Something on the ground here. Well, let's see. A letter. Hmm. Eh? This is. Sai Mao's secretly working with Liu Bei! What? Sai Mao's a spy? How dare you trick us! This tough naval training must be an attempt to wear us down! I need to bother your south out with this. Let's take care of it for ourselves. Sai Mao's gotta get beat up! Someone there? Oh, damn! Tell me! Guan Yu! You must be here to meet up with Sao Sao and Sai Mao then! Perfect! We'll take you out too! Dropkick! Oh, damn. <laughs> this is everybody getting lit up by that missile dropkick. New skill! Shadowless kick. Jituma!
通りのポーズ Thank goodness they didn't realize the light is fake. I'm lucky they're gone. Now I paid Sign Mouth back. And this is sure to cause a rift in South Sound Navy. Things are really looking up. Repu Apu. That's the dragon jet. Lunges for it while headbutting. So be. Hinch poo cuck! That's why it You mean after all this goddamn time? This big river is called the Yangtze. It's the longest river in the nation. It's a bunch of nice cheap stuff. At least I know where I can get, um, iron equipment. It took me, like, INCH PICK! Get him, Chituma! Oh, that is nasty. That is all the way downright nasty.
guess I will call the Shin Yusei Cold Shopping. Sure. The Shin Yusei Cold Shopping. Hey, what did you you know, we'll be fine, fine, right? Calm down, I understand you're uneasy, but you're just gonna pass it on to me. What's up, you two? Come on, you! Sorry, you seem great next. You won't be much used for that. All right, I'll teach you how to relax then. Really? That's all you for you. So what should we do? I'll punch you. Yes! Yeah. Look at this. I would do more than that. Kick you dead in your face. See? Look at that. See? You'll be fine after a few kicks, you know. It's easy. You see, go talking. See, you're nice and relaxed, aren't you? Come on back on screen. Come, do, do, come here. Shorty, no person. Uh, I just love that. Thank you very much. Fight me too. Everyone's nervous, huh? I need to give him my all. Oh I got a jumble meat bun. And a <laughs> red love for that kind of shit. It's like, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. I, I know how to, I know how to help you, fam. Let me kick your ass. The what? But how do you make Don't worry. Hey, hey, Guan Yu! We got a lot more allies than we first started, yeah? Well, yeah, we got more subordinates, and Zhao Yun and Zhu Dei Liang joined us too. We're gonna have the Sun Xuan army on our side now. That's why I started kind of getting worried. Do, do we have enough food for everyone? You're worrying about the food? I guess it's good. You're you you're your usual so. But don't they say you can't fight on an empty stomach? Yeah, they do say that. We, we need money to get food, yeah? I heard a rumor that about some bandits who are super rich. I was thinking of stealing their money to buy food. <laughs> is that like these rich bandits are in Jiangxia? Not bad, Shang Fei. Help you out in your plan to steal from the bandits and feed the masses. Oh, well, they're right there, I'm sure. Okay. He's a rich band, she mentioned young Bay. Hey, I don't know, but they're definitely bandits, so she'd be fine. True enough. Inch Puka Inch 
We're not help responsible for kicking your ass. We're just help responsible for making this place safe for people. For the bandits, let's see. Just how much money did they have? Ooh, they're loaded. Nice work, Sean Fay. It should be enough to pay for everyone's meals. Let's sell this treasure cash and get everyone something nice to eat. Alright, let's bring the treasure to the suit. Who matches provisions? It should be in key two. <laughs> I hope everyone will be happy. Stolen treasure. Flaming headbutt, but damn hurts. Shinko Choken! Got the shin, the shin you say, Kosho. The Shin Yusei Kocho. To. I'll help out. I'm getting ready for the final battle, but there are lots of bandits around here. I heard they're having a hard time transporting weapons and provisions. I plan to take care of the bandits to ensure smooth business as we get ready for the big battle. I see. So you're supporting preparations. I wouldn't have thought of that. What a thoughtful guy. Taking out bandits just a sort of job for guys like us. Let me help out. Thank you very much. How about we split up then? To handle Zishui High Road and Yunjong High Road? Yung Yun 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 Zishui and Yunjong High Road. Zun Zunyang. Zishui Zunyang. 
Alright, let's meet up back here when we're finished. Let's see who's faster, Joe. You. You're on! Mr. Guan Yu, sorry to bother you. I heard there's a suspicious person lurking around to the north. You seen anything? Suspicious person? No, I can't say I have. Oh, nothing happens to demoralize everyone before the big battle. That would be bad. I'll go figure out what's going on with the sheep. That's my Guan Yu! Actually, everyone was so scared to go look, so you're really a big help. And by everyone, that includes me. <clears throat> uh, it appears they it seems they appear in Hong Yang. I just need to know who they are. Do be careful. Oh, we's gonna be busy. Guan Yu! You, you, you're Guan Yu, aren't you? I feel like I've seen you somewhere. Oh! Are you Graham's son from Jingzhou? Yes, it's been a while. I'm Lu Song. I inherited Jingzhou from Liu Bao. You're surrounded to, you surrendered to Sasa, yeah? What are you doing wandering around here? Were you driven out of Jingyang Castle? After that, I lived there as if became one of South South's territories, but South South still moved to make Jingzhou his own. Send, he secretly sent out an underling of his to take me out. So you fled here to avoid being discovered by the South South Army. Indeed. It is all because of my weak will. Jingzhou got taken over, and my life was put in danger. This is no joke. I see. A lot went down. But no one could blame you for making that choice in your position. No easy feat standing up against Salsa. I'm sorry. Guan Yu! That, that flag! That's the Salsa army! Speak of the devil. I'm here now. No need to die. Come at me, Salsa troops. You need to go for a ride, constantly. Since I can't really hit you, I can only grab you, so... Come here! Meet the great fist of Mike Hagar. And down you go, sir. Sorting of pulls. You truly are strong. <laughs> you can say that. This is not. I, I learned that I'm not capable of leadership. I live quietly somewhere. It's not much, but I, I brought what my father left behind. Please take this. Lose mirror. Guan Yu, if you ever return to Jingzhou, Jingzhou, I leave it in your hands. Yeah, take care. Thank you. Goodbye then. Let me up.
Well, let's see. Here I am at Jung Young High Road. Oh, there's bands all over the place. All right, time to take them out. Everybody's going to get a piece of the U. Down here, I got a little something for you. It's called the Shin Yuse Kuchoken! The ball is my friend! That's one place out of the way. Next is Zishui High Road, yeah? I got this treasure for some bands in Jiangsha. I hope you can get some money for it and buy him one food. Wow, well, this is an incredible treasure. Thank you so much. But we have budget set aside for provisions, so we aren't as smart for now. It really ain't a lot. Are you sure? Yes, it's your husband's Well, what should we do with this treasure then? Well needed for the fire setting went up in price. I heard Lu Meng mention they weren't able to get enough for the initial budget. Ooh, oil, huh? What do you say, Zhang Fei? Should we buy oil a little bit? Well, as long as I can eat as much as I want, I don't care. Once you have the oil ready, please hand it over to Lu Meng and Luko. Thank you. Alright, let's look for a place we can buy some oil. Sweet high road. Now I just need to take out the bands here and get back faster than Jiao Yu. do after I'm done with this is I'm um, moving LP over to weekdays. One of something that I'm already working on, like say Robo Trek. Or if not that, um, nor in the time studio. So 
Sorry, no pause. Alright, that takes care of the bandits in Zishui High Road and Zhongyang. Alright, time to head back to Izo and see who was faster. For a shop selling oil for fire setting. We have all kinds of oils. How much you need? As much as we can buy with this treasure. But that would be a huge amount. Do you really want to buy as much as oil as this is worth? Yeah, for sure. All right, uh, hold on a moment. Then. I apologize for it. Horse oil, dear fat lord, sesame oil. Out of all, total, this all oil we have in stock. Thank you for all your business. Thanks. I wonder if you use total for fire set. Obtain tons of oil. <laughs> so, Alright, now we need to hand this over to Lu Mang and Nicole. Swang guy excited and broke another desk. Keep telling him to value possession. No, Mang does not make it this month. I oh, need to hurry and gather materials for a desk. Oh, I know. Could you help me gather six uh, materials? I need about six of them. Have any laying around? That'd be great. Got all this oil? There you go. At this point, I don't think um, trying to get everything would be kosher. I'll get as much as I can, but. Master both gravity and explosion to give you a new technique. How do you explain how, how can you explain tiger balls?
bear now. Drop kicking a bear. I'm wondering where the path leads to. Uh, you're back already, Xiao Yun. So you already took care of your share of bandits? Yes, I just returned. Damn it. So I was slower, even by just a little bit. I'm salty. Really? You're in a competitive type, huh? Hey, you two. So you took care of the bandits around here, you say? Thanks. They were getting in the way of transportation. Here's all Xiao Yun's idea. You give credit when it's due, though. <laughs> Is that so? Are you interested in the Sun Shui Army, Zhao Yun? I think you had better, a better time over here with us, you see. <laughs> Your strong interest here, Zhao Yun, unlike Zhuge Liang and that one guy over there. Hey, what is this shameless headhunt? Scary, you're welcome to us anytime, Xiao Yu. Think it over. Eesh, can't let your guard down around there for a sec. Wrap you up.
How do I make to how do I get to Luke Hobo? Thank you, I know. The ball's great. Signed by Mike Hyden. Yeah, a pound of prevention is better. A pound of prevention is worth a pound. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. That's that's what that's what the same. Are there are some people on our site who are not particularly, particularly fond of your teams. I was concerned that this could have a negative impact on the preparations as well as the final battle itself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be telling you this. Ah, no. Totally fine. I'm used to it thanks to a certain bit of polish. That's why Edith hasn't reached here, Yang Zhou. It would seem they are doubtful of your capabilities. So you're saying we should prove to them that we're strong? Sorry, Lucy. But could you gather those people and I'll face them one on one? You find here, so you will be upset. And if we call it training, not fighting, and if they don't have faith in me during the final battle, we'll have our time work as a team. You're right. I'll get them together. Hold on a moment. I hear you doubt my skills. You'll get a better idea experience it for yourself. Come on, I'll take you all on. Touch your sir. You're not going anywhere, sir. Sure. 
Shorty no pussy. Next! I'm Gunning, General Soon Swen Army. I appreciate it, man. Come right at me then. You feel my power for yourself. Gunning of the bells. How about ring your bell? I think you'll find I'm as tough as they come. Sorry, no pose. I'm Lu Mong. What well, of Oh, not so <laughs> Looks like you're the last one. Hold back so you won't die. Don't get yourself injured before the big fight. Oh no. Nope. 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 And for you, sir. Not shot. <laughs> Sorry, no balls. Ha <laughs> ha! I worked with a nice sweat. That was great exercise. Now even those who had their doubts should realize how strong we are. Yes, I think they felt it for themselves. Now everyone's been up. Was this the right choice? Rapu up. <laughs> Yes, it was the correct choice. the boat yes what took you so long Guan Yu I'm already that's what you said hey it's you Gay Leon why in the world is that ship full of straw dolls behind you not too bad hmm? keep your plans up tonight you got a nice cruise but what is that even mean? That night aboard the boat. Where is this boat going? Why didn't I tell you? We're headed to the Red Cliffs. Perfect. Where? South South Army Station? What? We're going to the enemy base? Let's go back! We don't even worry about it. Let's just enjoy a nice night cruise. The breeze feels great. It's no use, it's all over. They arrived near South South Base. Alright, we're pretty close to the South South Base. This should be a good place. I feel like some nice background music helps live up a cruise. Take it away, orchestra! What are you talking about? We need to be quiet or the South South Army will notice us. No, orchestra, no! Uh, 
That was close. This is an arrow. The Celso Army realized we're here and they're firing at us. More arrows. Hey, could it be your method of collecting arrows? It's not real that we need to make the arrows ourselves yet. <laughs> we might really be able to collect 100,000 at this rate. Their fun crews continue. 20 straw materials really turn into 100,000 arrows. You're incredible. <laughs> this is nothing for someone of my intellect. No way. What's up with this arrow riddled ship? What do you mean? What? I brought 100,000 arrows just as you asked. No complaints, right? Huh. Not half bad as you, Galeon. I'll admit you have some capabilities. Only some. Just to be clear, you're going to have to recognize my abilities after the battle with Sao Sao. Like it or not. Don't be so sure. That depends on your accomplishments. So since we brought one or two thousand arrows, no more penalties, yep. Alright. I got up these arrows and set them up in the storehouse. Is you got on? Any ideas? I just remembered our urgent business I had to attend to. This is this punishment enough? Rep the up the up. Can't wait to go see. Ooh, a Shogun helmet? This is actually better than what. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm. Oh, yeah, Shogun stuff? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Good lord! Mm. That doll. This is Luko, middle prefecture along the Yangtze River. What? You don't know what a middle prefecture is? I think it's an island made from gravel deposits from down the river. Remember that, it'll be on the terrace. explains why. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop right here. And in the next part, which should be the final part, we're going to prep for the final battle. And maybe while we're at it, Ice grounds for some dosh and get that final piece of equipment right here in Roko. So stay tuned for more of the Cuneo Dramedy right after this. Thanks so much for watching.